Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Ishmaakan and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we'll be learning about deep links in Flutter. So first things first, what we'll be doing is we can move over to our source code I can show you. So inside our R browser, you can see that here is our complete source code that I will be talking in this video. So you can check the source code link as well in the description box. So with that being said, let's just start this video. So here in the readme, I have created a complete documentation like what we'll be talking in this video. So first things first, like what is Flutter deep links? So deep links are like links that on clicking, instead of opening websites or any web URLs will be opening our Flutter application. So how do we do that? So some of the use case is that, for example, you have made, you are making an e-commerce application and you have both a website as well as an application. And you have chosen that the payment gateway will only add inside our application, not on the website. And as soon as the user is clicking on any of the product that you have on the website, then he or she will be navigated to our app to make the payment and continue forward with that particular product. Or you are sending any mail or message or any link. So on clicking that link, you will be navigated to the app if the app is installed in the user's phone. Otherwise, you'll be navigated directly to the website. So this is what Flutter deep links in a short means. So how do we do it? So basically, we have to make configurations for Android. We have to make for iOS and for our website as well. So let us see one by one what we have to do. So inside our Android, so basically the deep links are of two types. First is our app links, second is deep link, right? So deep linking is not generally a topic of Flutter only. It is regarding Android, Java, Kotlin, Swift. So any language framework that we have for mobile application that has the concept of deep linking. So basically for Android, we have two types of deep links. First is deep link and second is our app link. So the purpose of deep link is that we can use custom schemes and I'll tell you what I mean by that. So as you can see that inside our Android configuration, you need to open up Android Studio or any other code editor that you have. And then in the Android manifest.xml file, you need to add this intent that I will show you in a moment how to add and where we will be adding that. But as we can see, you need to either add deep links or app links. So what is the difference here between the deep links and the app links? So generally and not generally, basically the app links are more secured than the deep links because the deep link can be accessed by any application. So for example, any other XYZ app can navigate the traffic to my own application by clicking to a specific deep link that they have made. So I don't want that. I want that whatever deep links that I am making from my application from my website, only those will be navigated to my own application, not to someone else's application. So the deep links here, you can see that we have a Android scheme and here you can pass your own scheme. So scheme is nothing but a random, not random, any string you need to pass. It can be anything and that scheme we need to call when we are making our deep link. I'll show you that as well. So, but the, the app links that we have, it is a unique link that we have and here the scheme is by default HTTPS we need to pass. Makes sense. And the host here represent the website link that we have. So for example, in this video, I'll be showing you my own website that I have. 
that is yeshmarkand.co.in. So this is my own personal website and I will be deep linking this website with my Flutter application. So here the host will be yeshmarkand.co.in. Makes sense. So here you need to add your own host and yeah. So deep link and app link. You have to choose which link you want. For the deep link, you don't want any security, any custom scheme you can add and then any application that will be using that scheme, the traffic can be navigated to that. Right. Awesome. So and the app links are unique links. So whatever traffic is navigating will be only navigated to your own app, not to any other app. But for verification process, we need to add one asset links.json file in our website server that I'll show you as well. How do we add that? So this is our Android configuration and I'll explain to you like what are the type of deep links that we have Basically, we have deep link and app link. Deep link is not secured and app link has complete security of the traffic that we have having from our website to our application. Understood. All right. Next, what do we have? So iOS configuration, same thing. This we have to add inside our info.plist file. And here you need to add your, your app scheme. Makes sense. Then in the website configuration, you can see that here we need to add in the head tag these two things, your app scheme and some path. These you have to add. But the important thing, this is optional and this part is optional as well. So you don't have to add a button, open my app and this part of header is also optional. The important thing for the verification process is this assets links json and this you will only add if you are using app links for the android okay so this is the process this is the json file that we'll be adding in our server for verification process so here you will add the package name so the on clicking the link only this particular app it will navigate to that is how we are verifying our application so here package name we will add makes sense and here shard 256 key we will add i'll explain you how to get that as well and then there are our flutter ports so all right so first things first let's just open up our android studio and check what do we have here so this is our complete Flutter project, GitHub repository. You can access from the link in the description. Okay. So first things first, what you have to do, head over to your pubspec.yaml and add go router package. Why? Because go router can, will make our task of handling route much easier. And when we are making the routes from website to our application, it will make the process more seamless with this package. Then in our main.dart, you just need to import that package. First step. Second is that you need to make your material app as material app dot router. So here we need to add a named constructor or a factory constructor of router and here we will not be having a home so you must be having a home so we will not ha have a home property and here we will have a router config so here go router so here all of the routes that you have inside our application we will add that so by default we will navigate to our home page and then we have two more screens red and blue so if the link is ending with a red then we'll be navigating to our red page otherwise we'll be navigating to our blue page let's just see the front end part what we have so inside the home page we have basically two buttons so inside the scaffold you can see we have a column and we have only two buttons two elevated buttons we have first button is as red screen and second button we have that is blue screen so on clicking we are basically just navigating to red 
and blue screens separately nothing else is happening and if we are getting any traffic from the red and blue then also we are navigating here this color detail page is nothing but in the scaffold background color i am passing based on the color that we are getting from our final color constructor variable all right so this is like the complete flutter code what is the android configuration that we need to do so inside the android folder head over to your app src main and android manifest.xml file here you need to add so inside your activity tag you need to add intent filter so this we need to add intent filter and this meta tag as well as flutter deep linking android as true by default so this meta tag and this intent filter these two things you need to add inside your android manifest file all right then after adding these you can add inside your ios folder as well inside your info.plist file so here inside the info.plist file you can also add your key this configuration as well okay and then schema you can pass awesome then so that is it inside the complete flutter path but still we have to do configuration for our website server right so if you are choosing deep links then you don't have to follow our website configuration i'll show you how that will work as well so right now you can see that i am using app link not deep link so because here i am using https and the host is yeshmarkan.co.in that means if i want to use a app link sorry a deep link like this one i can pass any scheme here so scheme can be yes uh, 001 so this is my scheme and i will uh, i don't want then this android verify true and this as well so this intent filter will be used if we want to implement deep link our custom scheme not our https right but in this video i'll be showing the website linking part as an app link all right so we have added that now how do we add inside our web server so let me head over to my website server and you can see this is my website yeshmarker.co.in source code and it is written in flask right so this is the complete source code and it is all written in flask and deployed on version so here what you need to do inside your static folder you need to add a set links.json and add this json file here you need to add your package name so whatever package name you have head over to your android studio and here search for in the entire project application id so here you will see inside your app build.gradle we have the application id as com so that will be your own application id that you have so you will just copy that and you can paste it here also you need to add a shard 256 key that you have so this shard 256 certificate key store you have to add so for that you have to use the key tool that we have in the terminal so we have to add only this json file in our web server also we have to add so in my case i am using flask so i have to make a endpoint known as dot well known and then i added a path file name and send from directory static and file name so well known and then a set links dot json so that is what i mentioned inside our github as well so here inside website configuration we need to add this json file and after whatever your website is it ha it has to be dot well known and then a set links.json makes sense so now if i head over to 
yesmarkand.co.in slash well known slash asset links dot json if i hit enter you can see that i can see the json file awesome so our web server is also connected our android configuration is perfectly done now we have to move over to our flutter code changes so already we have our flutter code changes as well and go router implemented all right so let's just test it out so what I'll be doing, I'll open up my emulator. So let's just open up the emulator. And once the emulator is open, I'll click run application. So this will run the app for us. So the app is running. And you can see that it's a pretty basic application with red screen and a blue screen so we can navigate on clicking red screen and blue screen button makes sense now for the testing purpose in the emulator i have to use this command that we have from the adb so i can just copy this command so i'll copy it i'll head over to my terminal and i'll paste this command here you can see that ADB we are using and we are using the intent for the view browsable and then we are passing the link that I want to open. So here I want to open yesmarkand.co.in slash red. What it will do is that it will automatically open the our application with the red page and I have to paste that as well. I'll hit enter and you can see that we are navigating to our app. Even if I close the application from the background and if I now click again enter, you can see it automatically opens the app for us and navigates to the red app, red screen. So same thing we can do for the blue as well. I can open the link. Let me go back and change this to blue. I'll hit enter. It will open the app and navigate to the blue screen. So this red and blue endpoint is checking based on the router that we added red and blue awesome here we have a state as well so this state is very important so if you are passing any variables for example like you need one id so we have something like post and then you will be getting post id so every post will have a post ID. So using the state, you can pass that post ID as well. Like I'll just show you. So state dot and here we have our path parameters and here we can get our post ID. So this is the key. So post ID and I'll just format the code. So like that post ID right now we don't have and I added a cost as well so this post id we can get and we can pass that so that we can open up the product page the post page for that particular post and in the app we can show for the user so let's see if the application works in my physical phone as well so this is our app that is installed and right now if i open it up you can see that we are navigating to the red screen and the blue screen. I can click and we are navigating. So that is awesome. But if I close all of it, if I minimize everything, you can, you can easily see that I don't have any tabs in the background right now. So I can go back. So the app is not running. Okay. Now I have created one mail here. Also, GitHub, I have my account, so I'll open that up. And here you can see my own profile. So here I have a link for my website. So I can just click on that. And after clicking, you can see that it is asking open with. And it is asking me for two options. Here we have our Flutter applications or website. So I can tell it to open Flutter application just once and then it will open red screen blue screen why because the link does not have any path defined 
so it is open directly inside our github application i can click back so as you can see we don't have a red or blue endpoint at the end so i have also created a mail for us to test so you can see i just click it's lagging a bit yeah so i have mailed myself to check if the links work so here if i click on red link you can see it asks for application i can click just once and then it will automatically navigate us to the red screen so our deep links are perfectly working in our physical android device as well so that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you do then make sure to like it and subscribe my youtube channel as well and make sure to comment if you have any suggestions or doubts so with that being said i'm ishmaken peace out